Hey everyone, Seem here from the channel Handsome Smiles. Thank you for joining me on another video. Uh, today we're going to be doing a first impressions of a sample that I received called Savage Elixir. So this was included in a online package that I ordered of two other fragrances, Habit Rouge and Heritage from Guerlain. And they included this, uh, this sample within the package for free. So I thought I'd give it a first impressions on YouTube. I've not smelt this uh, Sauvage Elixir before, uh, I didn't even know it existed really, um, but I have smelt the original Sauvage uh, when it was first released, I think that was back in 2016 or something, and I think that's, it smells nice, but it's not something I would personally wear, it's not really my style Sauvage, so interested to see what this is like. This one was released in 2021. And the nose behind is, this one is Francois Damachy, who was the in-house perfumer at the time. He's also created the, the Sauvage fragrances in the line. He's been behind Old Sauvage Parfum. Uh, he's been behind some of the flankers for Fahrenheit, uh, Amre Nui from the private collection. So a really established perfume. Uh, let's give this a first impressions and see what it's like. So... Savage Elixir, let's see. Wow, I can smell it in the air already. It's a, a warm, spicy opening. In the air, when I first sprayed it, it came across very, very smooth. Um, Warm, spicy, and quite smooth. Maybe there's a lack of vanilla in this. Uh, I don't know what the concentration is, but my hand has got a, a real sheen, oily sheen on it. <sighs> Smells quite, uh, has like a sort of a clean quality in the background. <sighs> Maybe a slight uh lavender note that's coming off quite clean that's surrounded by some warm spices <sighs> smells a little bit like uh, luxurious uh, hand wash or luxurious shampoo um not something i would personally wear myself i don't think it comes across a little bit for me a little bit feminine uh, i personally wouldn't feel like this is a masculine scent so it could lean unisex uh, or feminine i think this will be nice on a woman it's feeling a little bit powdery and quite sweet so the opening overall what i'm getting from first impression is quite sweet there's maybe a vanilla in here there's like a, a clean sort of lavender smell with some warm spices and it smells like luxurious hand soap or shampoo. And this is what I typically expect from like a, a woman's perfume. Like when I go to weddings, a lot of women smell like this. I can sort of smell it in the air. And to me, this smells quite cheap. It smells like a cheap perfume to me. It's nothing uh, remarkable in my opinion. But that's just, that might be just something I would think because I'm not into this type of perfumery I'm into my oud oils, I'm into quite old classic gentlemanly fragrances and powerhouses um, yeah this isn't something that I personally enjoy let me just see if there's any information on this um, so this is a parfum concentrate uh, which is why it feels quite strong uh, let's read the note breakdown of uh, Savage Elixir. I've got Fabrantica's image open here. Okay, at the top we're going to get nutmeg, cinnamon, uh, cardamom, and grapefruit. The heart of the fragrance is lavender, and the base of the fragrance is licorice, sandalwood, amber, patchouli, and Haitian vetiver. Hmm, interesting. Uh, the warm spices I can definitely feel from the cinnamon. Um, the clean notes I was getting. Possibly from the, the lavender. There's some grapefruit in there, but I didn't pick up on that on first impressions. Nor did I pick up on the licorice, the sandalwood, amber or patchouli, or the Haitian vetiver. From what I remember, the old Sauvage 
how it smelled. I think it's got that DNA in here. So it's got that Sauvage DNA, but it's more amped up to feel like a formal or luxurious scent. But I'll be honest, this smells to me like a, a clone house or a cheapy perfume that's trying to be different. It smells like a cheap female fragrance. I don't think I'd ever wear something like this. Um, I think this is a complete waste of money. Uh, you're better off buying something a little bit more unique. Um, a little bit something that has a little bit better character. But I can't see myself wearing this. I think this would work well for a woman or a teenage girl. I think this one would work well as. But if you're a, a grown man or a man in his early 20s who's going out there to smell nice, I think there's better fragrances out there. I know. Uh, for me, I, I'd recommend something like Terre Hermes. But Hermes, uh, Au Sauvage Parfum, if you're looking for something from the Dior the line, um, yeah, those are better fragrances. Different smelling. Uh, this style sort of reminds me of like a, a 1 million. No, I don't like this at all. So that was my first impressions of Dior Sauvage Elixir. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this first impressions. If you have, please do leave me a like and a comment below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, I know how this video is going to go, uh, I don't review these style of perfumes on my channel, so some of my subscribers would probably already unsubscribe looking at the title of the video, and then people who haven't subscribed to my channel will probably watch this and who enjoy this fragrance will be annoyed and leave me a dislike, so there's no winning, but it is what it is, until next time my friends, see you later.